I want to take a moment and welcome everybody to the 2022-23 Open House. Uh, it's our second year. I want to introduce the teachers here that are on this team in middle school. Also, please take a time later to go visit your PE and your CTE teachers. So make sure that you get a chance to visit those teachers. Uh, Mr. Moore is our PE teacher, our health teacher, and Ms. McClendon is our, um, our CTE, Career and Technical Education. Um, our English language arts teacher is Ms. Barbesa. Mrs. Barbesa, if you'll wait, she has. Mrs. Cahill is our mathematics teacher. Mrs. Dobson is science. And Mr. Vernon is social studies. I'm Mr. Vernon. And again, it's so glad to have everybody. We also have one member who's not able to be here. So she has sent us a video to share with you. Good evening, ABS Middle School families. My name is Mrs. Bennett. I will be the EC teacher for our middle school. I will be serving sixth and eighth grade math and English and seventh grade math. I look forward to working with you all. I have been teaching for four years. This is my first year at AVS. I look forward to learning new things about you guys and getting to know you all virtually. I will be sending an email with my contact information, letting you all know how to get in contact with me if you have any questions. I really hope that we have a great school year together and happy open house. Good evening, ABS Middle School families. My name is Mrs. It's Bennett. a repeat, so I'll, I'll I will go. be. Good evening, ABS Middle. All right, let me get out of that. All right, on to our next screen. Great. Welcome, everyone. Um, again, my name is Mrs. Dobson. Um, this presentation is going to be shared with attendees at the uh, conclusion of the presentation. So don't worry if you miss anything or if you think we're going too fast. We are going to um, we're going to share it with you so you can uh, watch it afterwards. Also, getting ready for the first day, Monday. Can you believe it's coming up super quick? Um, we have a checklist that students can use to make sure they are up and running online for that first day of classes. This is right here. And here are some things to kind of work through between now and Monday to make sure you are prepared, okay? Make sure that you can log into your school account. This means your device, your email, your Zoom, like all of it. Make sure you can log into it, okay? Make sure you have your class Zoom links and know where to contact the teacher if you don't. Make sure you know your class schedule with times, and you will want to have a hard copy posted in several places in the house. So if you happen to be in the kitchen grabbing breakfast, you're like, oh goodness, I, there's my schedule, got it, I gotta get to class. Or if you are having lunch, know where you're going right after lunch, okay? Make sure you know your student ID number and your password for NC Ed Cloud. Um, so you can make sure you can log into Canvas. Students should email their teacher from their school account to get help. This is gonna be the biggest jump, especially for our sixth graders. You have been using Google Classroom. You are now gonna be moving into Canvas, okay? Um, the good thing is, is once you learn how to use it in sixth grade, there are college students that are using Canvas. Um, so once you figure it out, it, it's gonna be, be worth spending the time to get it figured out and get it figured out correctly. Okay, don't be alarmed if you don't see your classes in Canvas. The school system school system has set them to go live very early Monday morning, okay, before school. So when you go to bed on Sunday night, they may not be there. And surprise, when you wake up on Monday morning, they will be there, okay? This, I think, is super important. Make sure you have a workspace that's comfortable your own and free of distractions, okay? That would be the TV, your phone, other people you know, doing online school, extra sounds. This is the time between now and Monday to get yourself a pair of you know, headphones and pick a place that's quiet that you can work. That is, you know, you're not gonna have the TV over here or the front door right there. Um, just, and it doesn't need to be a big space just a place that is your own, 
make sure you have access to, you know, something you can write with if you need to jot something down. Okay, so make it your own kind of like your school desk for the school year. And again, it doesn't have to be a desk. It can be just a small area that's yours that is set up for you to do the best learning possible. I'm back to our screen here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hi, I'm Ms. Barbeza. Um, so how do you know how to find your class? You can find it, um, no, sorry, with your schedule. Um, Ms. Dobson mentioned that it's a good idea to have it printed out. Um, this is where you can find it, right here at this link. It is very straightforward. It also has the information for when there's an early release and when we get a two hour delay. So it is laid out right there for you. Again, I think that's a great idea to have it um, posted in several areas of your house. And then how do you know what your Zoom link is? You will get an invitation um, in your school email for some of us, and then also on the Canvas page, it's usually posted in several different places on the Canvas page, so you should be able to find it. Um, if not, be sure that you email your teacher so that we can get you in the right place at the right time. So um, as other teachers were saying, the Alamance Burlington School System went in and decided that for all of the schools, um, grades six through 12, that the Canvas courses could not be viewed until two, uh, 1 a.m. on Monday. And so that's something that the teachers can't change. So you will not be, if you log into Canvas, and we do want you to log into Canvas to practice it, you will not be able to see it. Do not be alarmed. Also, do not stay up until 1 a.m to be the first person to see it pop in. It's not that exciting. Uh, we, the most, what's most exciting is for you to get a good night's sleep. Hello, I'm Ms. Cahill, your math teacher. Uh, if you are familiar with the virtual school, last year we had some issues with cameras. Um, and so we're gonna quickly go through all of our cameras and um, you know, here's some do's and don'ts, shall I say. So first off, we wanna make sure that you are completely on the screen. So if you're looking at these, you can see, you know, your name covering your face, your only little corner. You can only see the top of your head. Um, off to the side, a big one last year, we, we got to see a lot of fans. Um, you know, we like your mom's and dad's decorations, grandma, grandpa, but we're not there to see those. We're there to see you. Um, same thing, any of those crazy backgrounds some of you download so that we can't see you. Um, it's important for you to realize that we do need to see you and we need to know that you're there engaged and paying attention. So appropriately is kind of how you see all four of your teachers right now. You can see us. You know, our face isn't covered by our name or anything like that. You can see, you know, chest up, a good view. You see that we're paying attention. You see what we're talking. Um, that's how we want you this year. Last year, we were very flexible on this. Um, this year, we're not going to be. Um, if you spend the whole time with the camera pointed up at your ceiling, we're going to actually be able to mark you absent this year. I would hate for you to attend class and then us mark you absent when you were actually there. So it's just something that we're going to be kind of strict on this year, just because it is our virtual um, school and we're just looking forward to seeing your full face and not your ceiling. <laughs> With that being said, now you're in middle school. I know I remember being in middle school and it's just kind of a crazy time. So just so you are aware, most of your teachers, at least most of the class time will be in focus mode, okay? What that means is for you, you will just see your teacher, okay? And I will be able to see all of you, but your classmates will not be able to see you. So if you are a shy student, if you are having a bad hair day, 
if you just, you know what? You just don't want anybody to see you. The only thing you need to worry about is your teacher is gonna see you, okay? If parents walk by and say, well, none of the other kids have to have their cameras on, that's because it helps our student. If we have been putting our computers on focus mode, it allows your student to be very focused on the person speaking and not worrying about Susie that has you know, a balloon in her hand or a dog walking by or any other distraction. It helps your child be more focused, which is something we don't have the blessing to have at a regular in-person school. Here at the virtual school, we can allow your child to completely focus on just what is being taught to them. So if you walk by the computer and see all the students with just their names and black screens, that is because the teacher is in focus mode, okay? I can see everything that's going on, but the students are not distracted by um, other classmates, okay? It causes less distractions and allows your student to focus better. Because some people might have a cool looking chair that would distract other people. Yes, very true. <laughs> Okay, um, email is going to be the prominent communication tool for our students. Um, parents, you may be aware that this is a generation of students that don't generally like to check their email. If we could send them a Snapchat, that would be wonderful, or a message on Instagram. Unfortunately, that's not how, um, that's not possible, and that's not um, the best form of communication for a teacher student um, interaction. So, Teachers will send communications through our school Gmail accounts, okay? What I would like you to encourage your student to do is to check their email periodically throughout the day. That is the main way that I communicate with my students, as well as parents, okay? Students, you should also adjust your Canvas notifications so you don't get an email from every teacher every moment. The Canvas notifications, will, we will help you set those up in the first couple of days of school to minimize um, Canvas notifications. And you will specifically just receive, you know, emails that are pertinent to your um, daily success at school. Um, email communication also for the parents. If you are not receiving emails from school or emails from us, we may have the incorrect email address, okay? Teachers communicate with families all the time. Please make sure that we have an email address that is monitored frequently. Progress reports will be delivered by email. So a monitored email account is extremely important to ensure solid communication back and forth. And here's a test about whether you have the right email or we have the right email. Uh, Ms. Marbeza, Ms. Cahill, Ms. Dobson, and I sent a message last week to invite you to Saturday's event, and we also sent you a message on Monday to tell you about the um, what we're doing right now. So, parents, if you didn't get that email, then we don't have the correct email for you. The ABSS app, it rolled out at the beginning of August, and so we please want you to take a moment to download that from either the Apple iOS store or the Google Play Store. And once you get this um, presentation, pardon me, once you get, once you get this presentation, uh, there are links that take you straight there. We're all learning this, so it's a process, but this is uh, one way that the whole school system is going to be uh, going in that direction. So please, um, please use that. Oops, sorry. That's a demonstration of how it happens. Okay, so Canvas. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Canvas, um, you can become a parent observer. So if you would like to kind of get notifications on if your child is turning in work or, um, you know, some grades go in through there. Um, what else comes in through there? Basically, any sort of communication you can message us through there. And a good way to um, just go ahead and download the Blue Canvas app on your Android or smartphone. Smartphone. Um, it kind of looks just like that. So if you want to be an observer, go ahead and do that. 
on there it said that you can check out the ABS um, help page if you need help finding that. And this next site is actually um, where we're going to. There it is. So the ABS middle school. Um, so our team has taken some time over the summer. Um, seventh graders, you were you did not have this last year. So um, if you want to check it out, it's a great resource. We just kind of made our own Google site. And it's a little bit of just any information that you might need. So it has how to do things on PowerSchool, how to do things on Canvas, you know, check in our teacher pages, AIMSWEB Plus. It's literally a how-to on everything. So if you are lost or if you hear somebody say, hey, you should go check PowerSchool and you're like, what the heck is PowerSchool or how do I navigate through there? You can come here, you can click on the PowerSchool link and it literally has detailed step-by-step -step how to walk you through and where to go. And again, if you are going through this and it's still not helpful, please just reach out to us. We are here anytime and we will walk you through everything. But we thought that this was a nice way for you to visualize all of these different things that we asked you guys to do. And you can look through it with your parents and just kind of see, you know, where you might need to go or what you might need to do. And parents, um, just to butt in for just a second, parents of sixth graders, this was directly created from questions that our students had last year. Ms. Um, Cahill and Mr. Vernon kind of kept, kept track of all of those questions that kids had, how to submit things. So this is, I mean, it, it is a godsend and I know um, will be super helpful to your parents. I mean, there's everything on there. So I hope it, it is helpful to you. Exactly. And if you're on this page, uh, when a student is absent, there's a form that needs to be sent to the office, but we don't get that. And so if you will email all the teachers and what we've done is um, if you will click, if you're on a phone, if you go to this website and click on that, it will open up your phone's app for email and it will populate all four of our teachers emails and the subject will say student absent and then you just got to plug some things in and it will also come to us and that way we know uh, why your student is absent it also explains what happens if the teachers are absent um, classes still go on uh, but the, you're given the lessons you're, the teacher is just not there uh, and so again as Ms. Dobson Ms. Cahill said just a wealth of information for you also parents we hope you'll appreciate this. We're going to make sure that your st student knows how to properly send an email where the subject line is not the message and uh, where if they need to, to follow up on it, they send a reply. They don't send a new email. And again, when this is over, you guys will be receiving this full presentation. So you'll be able to click right to that link. Um, so don't worry about trying to jot anything down or if you miss something, you'll be able to click through all these. All right, I think Mr. Vernon just went over what to do with the student absences, um, but do be sure that you submit that absence form um, and it goes to our power school data manager and that helps um, us know or the data manager determine whether that's going to be excused or unexcused. And there's a way that you can attach a doctor's form and, and that kind of thing. So be sure that you do that whenever your child is going to be absent. Um, and then tutoring, sometimes we just need a little bit of extra help. So all of our tutoring is from 8 to about 8.25, 8.30, and um, we break it up by day. So on Monday, um, Ms. sorry, I almost said Ms. Cahill, Ms. Dobson um, will be uh, tutoring science. Um, Ms. Cahill is on Tuesday math. Uh, Mr. Vernon is Wednesday for social studies tutoring. And for English language arts, that's me on Thursdays at 8 o'clock. So we're available. Um, you just click on the Zoom link and there you are. Oh, but we won't start tutoring until like the next, after the first week. Okay. Um, and if uh, you can't get into that Canvas page yet, but you really want to know more about us, uh, you can look at the middle school page that Mr. Vernon was just showing you there. And you can look on the teacher pages and there was a little bit about each of us. Um, and again, if you've got questions, feel free to email us, get in touch. We're happy to help you.